and the customer says, I want to keep the payment the same. Tell me the payment's too high. This is how we close every deal. My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about hey, to And everybody watch this for two seconds. Let's say the customer's coming in, they're buying a 2022 Kia Optima, okay? Okay, watch this real quick. And then they're trading in a 2012 Honda Pilot, okay? Let's say it's got 80,000 miles. This customer's paying 300 a month right now. The new payment's gonna be 500 a month, 599. So this is gonna be 600 bucks. And the customer says, I wanna keep the payment the same. Because that's what everybody freaking says. They all come in there and say, I wanna keep it the same. I'm like, okay. And then we got a dummy salesman, not you, Joe, but the dummy salesman, he goes, well, that can't happen. The car's so much more money, you can't keep it because it's older, yours is newer. And then what do they do? They just sit there and argue. Guys, Joe, tell me the payment's too high. Say, I want, to be, I want to be at 300 what I'm paying now. I want to be 300 Hey, I totally understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. You flip the paper over, and you do something just like this. See that? What is that? Ben Franklin. Bam. It's a Ben Franklin close. Every freaking time. You say, Joe, I totally understand. This is your old car. This is going to be your new one. Your old car, you're currently paying 300 The new vehicle is going to be 599 Now, Joe, you got a 2012 Honda Pilot right now, um, 80,000 miles. I know it's an SUV. Okay, how much do you roughly spend a week in gas? Ballpark. What do you spend a week in gas on your 2012 Honda Pilot SUV. $60. Okay, whatever they say, that's the number. Am I right? right no. Cool. Sixty dollars a week in gas times four weeks in a month. Two hundred forty dollars a month. How much you're spending in gas to drive your old vehicle? Does that make sense? I'm going to bring down a three hundred dollar payment. That's what you're paying to the bank, and it shows me five hundred forty dollars a month is how much it costs you to own your old vehicle. So even if you don't buy my new car today, see the new one? Don't buy it. How much money does it cost between gas and payment to own your uh, own your old one? 540, 300 for gas, or 300 for the payment, 240 for gas. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Now on your new vehicle, better gas mileage, less money spent, would you agree? This 2012 Honda Pilot gets 15 miles a gallon. Key Optima gets almost 40 miles a gallon. Dude, you're literally gonna be cutting your gas in two thirds. So $60 a week is gonna go to $20 a week in gas with a new vehicle, four weeks in a month. That's $80 a month in gas. And I'm gonna bring down the $599 payment and I'm gonna see what the new car is gonna cost total ownership between gas and payment. Okay, nine, seven, six. Now over here to the side, $679 is how much it costs the new car to own. Total ownership cost. Listen, Joe, you work hard for your money, right? Yes. You put your money in the bank, would you agree? Yes. When the money leaves the bank, that's the real money spent, whether it's in maintenance, whether it's in gas, whether it's in monthly payment. When it leaves the bank, that's the real money spent. Well, Joe, when the money leaves your bank on the new vehicle, it's gonna be $679 a month, total ownership cost. You're currently paying $540 now on your old car. So literally, the new vehicle is only about $139 more than what you're even prepared to pay. But it's really not, Joe. You know why? Because your old vehicle, guess what? Yeah, if something breaks, you gotta pay for it, Joe. You know what the national average, what it costs to maintain a vehicle that's currently out of warranty? $2,000 a year. Let me explain, Joe. Just an hour to put your car in the shop now is $200. The average car in the shop is literally five hours. That's a thousand bucks. We haven't even added a part for 500 bucks or a 299 diagnostic to get it checked out. Joe, if you do the math, you can have your car in the shop one time and it's 1,700 bucks. This $2,000 right here, the, the total ownership cost of what it costs to maintain your vehicle a year that's out of warranty. This is January, this is December. You're driving down the road, Joe, guess what happens? Heater core goes out, costs a thousand bucks. You don't have a warranty, you gotta pay for it. Am I right or right? You know how used cars go, you go 10 months, nothing breaks, look how happy you are, Joe. See that? That's you. Then all of a sudden in November, in November, fuel pump goes out, can't drive the car, spend another thousand. Thousand, thousands, two thousand for the year. Since we're dividing at 12, uh, 12 months in a year, it's roughly about $160 a month in a small maintenance payment. You're going to have to budget on your old vehicle, you're on warranty. But Joe, on your new vehicle, it's a 2022, it's got 10,000 miles, you're driving it down the road. I don't care if the engine went out and it cost $10,000, how much would it cost you? Zero. Nothing. So this 160 that you're having to budget in maintenance, how much money is this new car more than what we thought it was? 160 in maintenance, the new vehicle's about 139 more than what you're prepared to pay? Really, Joe, I'm saving you $21. <laughs> Joe, do me a favor. 
when gas goes when gas goes to five dollars a gallon, right? Your new car is going to get paid back at the pump, where your old car just continue to cost you more. Would you agree? Yes. And heaven forbid something like an engine went out on this Honda Pilot. Dude, man, you'd be really out of budget. Joe, do me a favor. That extra 21 bucks, take your wife out for ice cream. Sign right here. Let's go. <laughs> now close it. But this, but watch this. This, this is how we close every deal. Okay? Hey, in a seated position, right, everything is written. Okay? You talk on your feet, you close on your seat. That's why if I'm an insurance salesman, if I'm an insurance salesman, if I'm a solar salesman, I got a piece of paper in my hand at all times. Everything that I say out of my mouth, I'm articulating in pictures on paper. Does that make sense? Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.